Uh, listen to the wind and the chimes. We were both given chimes when our spouses passed away. Um, and as a reminder, when the wind blows, to think of that special person. And uh, so that's really special when we hear the wind blowing. But it reminded me last week um, because uh, um, we had a new grandchild. You did? Yes. Her name is Hudson Lee Fox. It was, it was our daughter, Abby, and her husband, Kyle, who had this beautiful baby boy. Yes, and very exciting. And we were, and they spoke about how when you're in the hospital, you hear the chimes played over the system, and it tells everybody in the hospital that a child has been born, a baby's been born. And I remembered when I heard that story about how I sat in the emergency room with my dad um, one day, and I could hear the chimes, and I, I stopped and said, listen, a baby's been born. And, and then I remembered sitting at the side of Robert um, when he was in his last weeks in the, in the intensive care unit, hearing those chimes, and he, thinking about the diverse um, effects of, of, of life. We have new life and then the passing of life. And um, so you had a, a scripture that, that when we talked about that, you, that took you to a passage of scripture. And, and there was a, the thought came to my mind is that God puts us on a timeline. And, and you know, we have new life when we're born. Of course, life begins way before that because God knows us before we're born. And then, and then we have this, this continual series of seasons that occur. Each of our spouses, that was part of the season. We experienced that, that love, that care, and then that loss. And then we have life everlasting, whether we spend it in heaven with, with the Lord or in, in, in hell if we haven't accepted Jesus Christ as Savior. When, when Jesus approached Martha after her brother Lazarus died, he, he's challenging her. When, he, when she asks him and says, I know that he, Lazarus, will again rise in the resurrection. Jesus then says, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. Both of our spouses are experiencing that joy of joy knowing of, heaven. Of, of who Jesus is. They're at the feet of Jesus. It's a wonderful, wonderful thought when we hear the wind. And then he says, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. We pray that little Hudson and all of our grandchildren and all of our children and all of our friends will be joining us That's what in we heaven. Pray. And we want to be the light to share Christ. Jesus then closes that passage by saying, do you, Martha, and Joyce, and all believe in us. Yeah, it's personal, isn't it? Nobody can do it for us. Do we believe? Yes. Yes, I believe. And so do I.